A microscope is an instrument that magnifies images of objects that are too small to be seen by the naked eye. Microscopes are very expensive. And they're also very heavy. So you want to take one hand and you want to place it on the base of the microscope, which is underneath here. You want to place the other hand on the arm, so that way you have two points of contact with the microscope. And you also want to be sure to hold the microscope close to your body, because if you have it too far out, you could possibly bump it into something or you might bump into something and you might accidentally drop the microscope. You want to walk slowly in any science classroom. And especially when you're handling a microscope, you want to think and you want to look in the direction that you're going to go before you begin moving. Now that you have carried the microscope to where you will be using it, I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to actually view a specimen. And a specimen is just a, a thin piece of an object that you are going to be viewing under the microscope. I will also be using an online simulation where it allows me to manipulate the microscope and that website is located here and it is also included in the comments below. The first step is that you want to plug in the microscope. There are different kinds of microscopes. Some microscopes just use the sunlight and that does not use electricity. The microscopes that are in most classrooms today have artificial light and therefore needs to have electricity. So there is a plug, you just want to plug that in and you then want to make sure that the stage is down. So here we have our microscope over here, and this is the stage, and you want to try to get familiar with the microscope that you're using because the course adjustment knob is located in different places. In our microscope over here, our course adjustment knob is located over on this side. So you want to make sure that the stage is down, so if you go downwards, then you're going to be pulling the stage down. And I'm moving up and down just so that you can see that it's actually moving. So now it's located at its lowest stage. The next step says that the lowest objective is in place. And so here we have all of these objectives. And this one is the lowest magnification of 4, 10, 40, and 100. So notice where the, the hole is in the stage. This is where the light is going to be coming through. And this is where you would want your lowest magnification, your lowest objective to be in place. So let's go ahead and move the objectives by touching only the revolving nose piece. The next step is to place the slide onto the stage. Over on my screen, I have four different slides. And these have already been prepared. So we're going to go ahead and choose this one right here, which is the onion root tip. Next, you want to secure the slide with the stage clips and be very gentle. Again, you have to realize that every microscope has a different kind of stage with stage clips. This one here has it where you place the slide in and then it's like a lobster claw or a crab claw that secures the slide into this little location right here. If you do ever come across a microscope like this, you want to be very careful that you don't snap this stage clip too hard because it will crack the glass. After the slide is secured on the stage, next you want to move the slide so that the specimen is over the diaphragm. Notice that there are these knobs that will allow you to move the slide up and down and you want to place it over this hole right here because this is where the light is going to be coming in in order for you to see the object. There are microscopes that do not have this contraption where you have to use knobs in order to move the slide up and down and back and forth. Most commonly found in classrooms is that the, there is no knobs to move the slide up and down. You actually would have to move the slide with your fingers. So you would use your thumbs to gently move the slide to where you need it to be and then you would just make sure you re-secure the stage clips to the slide. The next step is that you want to turn the light on. The switch might be in the front, on the side, or on the back. Just look for it and turn it on. After you turn it on, notice that you need to adjust the diaphragm. And the diaphragm is located underneath the stage so that it can allow the right amount of light to enter through this, this hole in order to shine itself through the specimen so that you can actually see it in the microscope. Too much light, you can't see. It's too bright. 
too little light and then it's too dark and you still can't see. So find the diaphragm and find the right adjustment. And what you'll notice is that as you move it back and forth, you'll figure out which one gives the most light, which one gives the least amount of light. To let you see what's really going on with the diaphragm as you move it back and forth, we're going to switch views so that way we can see what it looks like when we're actually looking through the eyepieces. Alright, so here's what it looks like. This circle here is what you would see when you look through the eyepiece. Now remember, in some microscopes you will only have one eyepiece. In this one for this simulation there are two, one for each of your eyes. So when you look down, this is the circle that you would see and that's all that you would see of the specimen that is below. So the diaphragm is located down here and you just want to adjust it so that you can allow the right amount of light. Here is where it would increase and it would become very bright and then it would become very dark. So I'm going to pick a happy medium and we're going to state that that's where the diaphragm is going to be. When we are first focusing at the lowest objective, we want to first use the course adjustment knob, which is for large amounts of focus. And then we're going to use the fine adjustment knob. And this is your course adjustment knob, and we're going to start to pull the stage up closer to the eyepiece, closer to the objective, and boom, there we see it. This is where you're going to use your fine adjustment knob to really focus in and fine tune that focus. This is as big as it's going to get at this point at this objective. Okay, the next step is now we want to magnify the specimen even more. Notice that there's this circle right here, and this is where we're going to want to focus. So we're going to have to move this specimen so that the circle is in the center of this view. Now we can go ahead and switch to the medium objective by using the nose piece, and here's what we have. Now it does say to only use the fine adjustment knob, so you want to use only the fine adjustment knob. So now you're just fine tuning. And you're going to notice that um, I like to go a little bit above and a little bit below so that I can find where the best focus would be at that magnification. Then that's what we have. And now you're actually starting to see all the nuclei inside of these little boxes, which are the cells of the plant. The next step would then be to switch to a high objective. And in this case, that would be... 40 times the magnification. Now one of the things that I'm going to do is just to readjust so that where I want to zoom is actually in the center of my view before I switch my magnification. So I'm going to just adjust and when I have that then I can go ahead and turn the revolving nose piece so that the objective 40 is in the correct spot and now you can see that there is a really beautiful view of these plant cells. And now you're just going to use the fine adjustment knob in order to find the most focused view of your specimen. There are steps in order to return the microscope back to its storage place. So the first step that you're going to do is that you're going to need to turn off the light. The light is located either on the front, back, or the side. So you're going to turn that off and then you're going to want to drop the stage down. Turning the knob downwards is going to bring the stage down. Then you want to return the, um, the objectives to its lowest objective. Okay, and so that's going to be the number four. And this gives you a lot of space so that then you can take the slide out from the microscope. Next, you're going to want to unplug the microscope. When you unplug the microscope, you do not want to pull on the, the electrical wire itself, not the cord. You actually want to pull it from the plug portion, the closest part that is into the outlet. This will make sure that you don't yank the wire out from the, the part that you are supposed to pull on. And yes, I have seen this done and it is not good and it ruins the microscope and then we have to get it fixed. The next step is that you want to wrap the cord around the base and then you're going to safely walk and carry the microscope to its correct place. Here are some extra safety rules. Please stop the video and write these down and we will discuss these in class. All right, we've made it to the end of our T-notes. Make sure you understand everything. Feel free to explore and practice using the microscope with the link that I've provided in the comments. 
and we'll see you in class next.